The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. Bariatric surgery is the treatment of obesity. So that encompasses uh, a lot of options. There can be a medical management of, of the obese patient and there is a surgical management of the obese patient. If you are interested in a surgical procedure, then we have three different operations that can be performed uh, to manage uh, obesity and get you back to a healthier uh, weight. Basically, we focus on three different types of bariatric procedures. Uh, one of our options is called the laparoscopic gastric bypass, where you would make a small pouch about the size of uh, a half a cup, and then we would bring the small intestine up to that small pouch. That's a procedure that's very effective at weight loss. It will cure diabetes, and that's a procedure um, that uh, you may choose. The food does not go directly into the stomach but bypasses it and bypasses part of the small intestine so that there is a malabsorption so you don't absorb as much of the food that you eat. Another procedure that we can offer is called the gastric band and this is basically a small uh, band that's placed around the upper part of the stomach and it creates that same small pouch that we create with the bypass. This is done as an outpatient procedure and then you can have this band tightened and that will help you control your appetite and will help you lose weight gradually over time. The third operation that we do here is called the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. That's done again where we make the top part of the stomach narrower. And that will allow us to control your appetite, you will eat less and you will have a very effective weight loss uh, result. The requirements to have bariatric surgery is based on the body mass index, or BMI, and that is a calculation that estimates the extra weight that you're carrying based on your height and weight. There are many calculators that you can use online, or we can help you figure out your body mass index, or BMI. A normal BMI is 25 or less. We become overweight between 25 to 30, Class 1 obesity starts above a BMI of 30. 30 to 35, you can start to have some health problems. 35 to 40 uh, is when we start to classify you as morbidly obese. That's when we need to take action and try and find a procedure that will help you get back to a normal, healthier weight. A patient needs to carefully decide which procedure will work best for them, and we can help you give you the advantages and the disadvantages of each of the procedures. All are effective, but each have a slightly different timeline and a slightly different risk. Uh, the side effects are slightly different for all those procedures, so it's something that with the information that we can provide you at our seminar uh, and counseling in the office and information from our dietitian, we can help you decide what's best for you to help you lose that weight. When choosing where to have your weight loss procedure, it's important to ask, are you a center of excellence? A center of excellence is a program that has all the necessary pieces to make the overall uh, procedure and um, time with us uh, to be very effective. Uh, that means that you have a good uh, information session, you have plenty of teaching and counseling from our dietitian, you get a necessary thorough evaluation uh, by your physician, as well as finding qualified surgeons that have experience in the different procedures and can tell you that they're safe doing the operation. We hope you'll join us for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office 
at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.